Hey y'all, it's Misfit Joe, and this is my dynamic asset library. Uh, so you ever been making a game or something and you want to load something via BP to just get something dynamically out of a directory, like you just don't really care all that much? Or or you just want to store something for later and just retrieve it? Uh, well, I got you. Um, with my, uh, here, actually, we'll, uh, we'll, we'll show you what, you, what I got going on right now. So here we go. We've got uh, we've got the third person modified, and then uh, yeah, I've got some buttons with spawn stuff. So all this stuff is getting loaded uh, from the uh, dynamic, uh, or basically just from the assets down there. Um, I've got them specified. I'll show you in a second. Um, cool. Yeah. So yeah, yeah, yeah. We just spam a bunch of crap and jump around. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. So all this is spawning via this plugin. Um, the these are these are all coming out of the asset library. So I'm sure just holding holding on to all this. Uh, well, it's not holding on to the instances, obviously, but that's where you find them. All right, so cool. Yeah, we spawned a bunch of stuff. That's kind of where we're at right now. Um, so all right, so let's go back. Uh, let's say I want to. These are, these are all my assets down here, right? So these are all like the rando stuff we were dropping. These are the words. Uh, this is stuff that should never spawn. Go figure. Uh, and then just more stuff. These are all different tests. They're going down. Uh, if you get into my, this is the example project actually. So if uh, you download this, you can actually play around with this and see what's going on. Uh, but yeah, anyway, uh, so in, let's say, our dynamic, uh, these are all our blueprints for, you know, the, the standard blueprints and stuff. Uh, let's say we want to duplicate something. We'll uh, do a sphere 2. It's like Earth 2, but better. Um, let's see. <laughs> uh, no, I don't want to definitely... Uh, oops, oops, oops. Not what I meant to do. Um... Yeah, yeah, there we go. Burr, widget material, compile. Cool, yeah, so we got a green sphere, right? Yeah, cool, save. Awesome, we got a sphere 2, new blueprint. All right, so this should, uh, yeah, I mean, we load that directory, so yeah, there we go. And we'll just start getting these guys falling out of nowhere. Awesome, cool. Uh, and then you can also do, uh, let's see, uh, um, Let's make this guy white or something. I don't know. I'll just change the texture on this guy. So yeah, you can. Uh, it's not just new stuff either. You can uh, just uh, modify uh, existing stuff. So here we'll do that. Um, that seems great. Okay, so we're gonna get these weird ghosty cues now, right? Yeah. Oh, there we go. Yeah. The uh, transparency and all. That's pretty wild. But yeah, so there you go. Uh, yeah, neat. Uh, right on. So yeah, that's the power of that so far. And you know, there's things like if uh, it, it loads these two, like these are falling these misfit shapes, like these weird, these weird guys. Um, it loads those as well. Um, they're in the subfolder. But if you move them out and all, it just won't. Uh, I'm not gonna demonstrate that right now. I think I do that in the GIF videos and stuff I post <laughs> on uh. On my cool kid channel. Uh, all right, so uh, so we've modified all that, and that's neat and all. Uh, you know, people do that in code, but this is all done through blueprints. So we're gonna go. Actually, most of the code controlling all of this is in a, or most of the blueprint code anyway, is here in the misfit character. It's just a, I just inherited from the third person character. And it holds like our instance and our asset library. This is a game instance that I made. Um, and I'll show you that in a second too. But yeah, for instance, just for this video, we're going to do this pretty quickly. Let me just, uh, but yeah, this is the, also in the example. You can check this out. Um, this is all the example you can like. That's why it's so heavily commented. Um, but yeah, like you see here, I'm uh, going like, you know, and this is on a uh, begin play for the misfit character for our, our uh, player character. So I'm making, you know, I'm just putting a string to game blueprints dynamic, which is this uh, directory right here. And that's uh, that's where we're getting all our, all of these when I was modifying them, right? Um, so yeah, uh, I'm telling it to load if they're not found. And then we just get back a bunch of array of actor 
class references. And then, uh, yeah, and then I'm adding that to this this that I'm holding, this uh, rando spawn objects object or uh, array. And uh, yeah, and then the rest of this is just more of that. This is all testing the interfaces of my blueprint interfaces on the class, basically. But uh, yeah, so there's that. Uh, this is all pinned out. It's pretty neat. Uh, misfit shape. You can spawn things one at a time. Um, user spawn random. Oh yeah, this is the actual like binding to the spawn random object. Uh, I spawn an actor. Just I get it randomly from our spawn objects that we loaded up on begin play or that we got up uh yeah so there's that and then there's also uh when we uh i'm not gonna go through it in the video but uh yeah there's this game instance as well that you can check out and that's like just more advanced loading um not advanced just showing like different ways you can go about loading and stuff uh using my library and uh okay cool so we have all that um yeah so, okay, well, you've seen that it's all blueprinting and stuff. That's pretty neat. Uh, so, yeah, we've seen an editor. Let me just uh, let me just do a standalone real quick. Yeah, let's save it. Let's just do a standalone, and we'll, uh, cool. I mean, I just want to show you that it works with everything. We'll, uh, we'll do a packaging, too, and I'll, I'll fast-forward that part of the video if I need to. But, yeah, here we are. We're in standalone, dropping all our stuff. Yeah, so we'll do all that. Uh, wild. Cool. Uh, so yeah, awesome. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna package this. Uh, we're gonna package this and then we're gonna run it. So yeah, I've got it set to shipping. Um, uh, our packaging settings are nothing crazy. I mean, this is pretty. I I I'm almost sure you, you might be able to leave this just default for all I know. But I add the uh I add the map because I'm paranoid, and uh, I add the blueprints directory as additional asset directories to cook, which is underneath packaging like you have to expand it um yeah like underneath packaging you're gonna want to go there i add the blueprints i'm not sure if you even have to do that but i just make sure because uh the blueprints are sketch about ending up in the final package so i just make sure they do it uh yeah uh except they're not actually blueprints it's just the classes actually um yeah, because there's no native. Uh, I'm, I'm sure you could do this native and it would be fine, but I'm not going to do that. Uh, so this is not native at all. Like these, this is running on the classes. And uh, and then, uh, yeah, this is all a pack file. So cool. All right, those are our packaging settings. Um, uh, <laughs> I, I wasn't trying to explain any of that. I just wanted people to look at it who were familiar with packaging. So, um, and you can like pause it and check it out later or whatever. Uh, anyway, yeah, so shipping, let's go Windows 64-bit, and, uh, let's go to, yeah, all my, my, my documents there, uh, let's go to projects, package, yeah, so, bop, 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 all right, let's do this, um, let's see, where is this, see all my, see behind the scenes, <laughs> all right, so this is where it's getting packaged to, so, We'll just take care of that, uh, and I'll probably fast forward this part of the video, to be honest, or just cut it out, but we'll see, um, doesn't take me too long, there we go, cool, actually, that wasn't too long at all, all right, cool, so here's our packaged deal, uh, content, packs, here's our pack with all our stuff, here's our binary shipping, um, yeah, and I'm just gonna run it, um, all right, well, we already started dropping stuff, right? Yeah, cool, so there you go. You can see this works in the pack ship game. It's even got, like, the, the things I changed. Um, and that's all Blueprint. That's that's all Blueprint. There's uh, there's C++ hook-ins. Uh, I, uh, I exported a, this class and all. I actually use it in my personal project, C++-wise. I don't actually use Blueprints. Um, I actually did that for you. But, uh, yeah, so there you go. This is pretty... Uh, pretty versatile right now and if you find any issues or something feel free to reach out i'm more than happy about that uh just let me know um yeah so i really appreciate you for watching and uh thanks for using it if you are that's that's pretty cool i think all right cheers